Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. I'm with my good friend Marcel Vineron. Chilling with Billy. Chilling with Billy. I, I see pomegranates, I see potatoes. So we've got we've got beverage and we've got food. So we've got a food and beverage happening. I think that probably the best way to start this off is with the beverage aspect of it. I went ahead and took the liberty of making some hibiscus tea. Hibiscus, uh, most commonly known as Jaimeca, right? It's mm -hmm. kind of like a frequent aqua fresca. And these are just the um, these are just the hibiscus flowers. The cool thing about this is the wand and the fact that it's instant carbonation. You know how most frequently if you carbonate things in a regular siphon... I don't carbonate it. that often, just really? so you know. So yes. I should recently, I get into the you should definitely do it. I, I carbonate things all the time, constantly. I carbonate hibiscus, I carbonate pomegranate, right. and I just have this infatuation with carbonation. It's kind of like this new thing. I, I if you have to be infatuated with something, this will be it. I think everything's better with bubbles. I kind of love bubbles. I think everything, you know, that should be a bumper sticker. Everything is better, better with, with bubbles. bubbles. These are the potatoes, uh -huh. they're, they're tricolored peewee potatoes from Wiser Farms, right? And what I'm doing right now is cooking them in the, uh, in the style of the Canary Islands. Okay. And what they do in the Canary Islands is the, uh, the fishermen actually cook their papas, they cook their potatoes in yeah. salt water, yeah. um, straight out of the ocean. Okay. So what I did here is made my own sort of like salt water mixture, and you can kind of see this this happening right here. Sure, it's getting a nice process. coating on yeah. it. Right? The water the water is evaporating, and the salt is like recrystallizing around the exterior of the potatoes, which is going to give it like a really a really nice texture. Sure. Um, because potatoes are so starchy, they lend yeah. themselves really well to salt, and they're going to end up looking like I think like little like pebbles, almost sure. like little rocks. There's a perfect moment when you want it. If you shake it too much, you're going to shake off all the salt, right? Sure. And if you keep it on the flames too much, the so will actually, the salt will actually start exploding off. Okay. What do we have over there? So What's these are actually freeze-dried blueberries. Okay. Um, this is not a very typical com combination. And then I actually, for you, uh, spare no expense, a little, we spare no a expense little, too. a little, a little luster dust. Let me go ahead <laughs> and uh, try to form it with the potatoes, um, yep, with the blueberries, beautiful. and make them kind of look very similar. So it's chlorophyll mayonnaise. So chlorophyll, chlorophyll, not chloroform. That's not, a different type of. Not borophyll. <laughs> yeah. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. No, it's um. So it's the. Uh, it's basically the uh, green pigment and vegetables. Okay. Green leafy vegetables. Um, so is it some sort of puree? Do you puree it all down? It goes with the mayonnaise? Yeah. Yep. Like um, basically, food. you blend the two together, the, the green herbs sure. with the oil, sure. and bring it up to 65 degrees Celsius, which is the, the temperature at which uh, chlorophyll can be extracted. And then I just strain it off, and then I take that and just make a mayonnaise um, from those ingredients. Uh, we got some blueberries. Freeze dried blueberries with some sort of angel dust on top, right. and then the potatoes, and we're gonna garnish it with a, some, some, a little greenery on the scenery. Right? Nice. Right? It's kind of re, re emphasizing the whole like chlorophyll aspect of, of the dish with the uh, with the herbs. And then um, I think we should uh, I think we should smoke it. Right? Now we have fire and a machine. We're burning some apple wood. So with the apple wood, it's just gonna have a nice little smoking. Yeah, it totally adds like a nice little element to the dish. Mm -hmm. Smokiness kind of like just contributes this whole new aspect um, sure. to the dish of like you get the sweetness from the blueberries, the saltiness from the potatoes, the earthiness from the smoke. So now that that's, this is prepped, working on the cocktail thing, mm -hmm. uh, you have some other stuff going on, right? That uh, yeah. something on the Sci-Fi Channel, a little new show. Yeah, new show coming out, coming out, um, which is which is pretty exciting. The show is essentially about um, me starting up my catering company here in LA. And um, cool. just just catering a lot of parties. The whole menu, the venue is always like very like unique to sure. whatever that particular party like sure. may be for. Sure. Well, Sci-Fi Channel premiering in the winter March. Time, yeah, March. Time, March. Yeah, March second. Right. Uh, it's slated to be at I think nine p.m. Nice. Like that. Does this so have the CO two carbonation? Instant carbonation. It is instant carbonation. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see it is right now. Pretty we got the plate is smoking over here, and is this like, is carbonating. Yeah, you, uh, you see the pomegranates jumping around. Yeah, it's coming right there. The we can make one of them super fancy and refined, and one of them a little bit. A What's going to happen here with the maker's mark? Mm -hmm. that I, I, the actually, I don't even stir it. It's kind of weird. I just put it right in there. Why well, stir it when you could just drink it? Yeah. This is essentially muddling, but look. <laughs> I'm not working, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, when you look this at this is, visually, this it looks yeah. like the, the flavor is just shooting out of the pomegranate into mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. drink. So instant carbonation. So this is a fully carbonated beverage. Boom. Yeah, totally. Soda, because everything's better with bubbles. Yeah, everything is better with bubbles. Cocktails and potatoes. Marcel, cheers. You, delicious. You know, you pick up the fizz, but you can taste the hibiscus and the pomegranates right in there. And obviously the little orange in there. And 
Well, I'm glad you like it. And obviously the whiskey, right? Oh, wait, did I forget about the whiskey? It might just have something to do with the three whiskeys I had before we filmed the segment here. We're going to do the potatoes with sure. the dried yeah, blueberries. Yeah, with the mayo yeah. I'm, I'm, We're going to get in there with the mayo and a blueberry. Blueberries have a nice shine to them. The smoke really adds to... The, the whole dish, right? By the way, before you go, I just wanted to say I loved you in Into the Wild. That was an amazing <laughs> thing. Well, this is delicious. The cocktail is delicious. I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. I'm chewing as I say that. My good friend Marcel Vinron. Cheers. Chilling with Billy. That's the new term. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the uh, undisclosed location. Thanks, Harris. See you next time. Anytime. Cheers. It's kind of like the uh, rug and the big Lebowski. It like, ties the whole room together. You know? It's like, um, I don't know what you just said, but I'm going to roll with it anyway because this is so. He talked about a rug and a bagel basket. That's what I <laughs>